Welcome to Transnistria, a country that doesn't officially exist. Nestled between Moldova and Ukraine, this strip of land rich in history and culture is a world within a world. It's a place where the Soviet past meets the present, where the echoes of history blend with the hum of everyday life. A place that despite its political status, thrives with a spirit of resilience and a unique identity. Join us as we delve into the heart of Transnistria, an unrecognized yet fascinating corner of the globe. To understand Transnistria, we must first dive into its past. Nestled between the Dniester River and Ukraine, this slender strip of land has a rich, complex history. Its story begins in the aftermath of World War II, when it was incorporated into the Moldavian Soviet Socialist Republic, a part of the broader Soviet Union. Transnistria was a hub of industry, its factories humming with the production of goods that were shipped across the USSR. However, as the Soviet Union began to crumble in the late 20th century, Transnistria found itself at a crossroads. While Moldova, the country it was a part of, sought closer ties with Romania and the West, Transnistria clung to its Soviet roots. This divergence in political aspirations led to a fierce conflict in the early 90s. A ceasefire was called but not before claiming many lives and leaving deep scars. In the wake of this turmoil Transnistria declared itself an independent nation. Yet, its sovereignty is not recognized by the international community, and it remains a part of Moldova in the eyes of the world. This has resulted in a unique political limbo, where Transnistria operates autonomously, complete with its own government, military and currency, but without the recognition of statehood. A living relic of the Soviet era, Transnistria's past continues to shape its present. Now, imagine stepping into a day in the life of a Transnistrian. Imagine the morning hustle and bustle of a local market in Tiraspol, where vendors peddle everything from fresh produce to traditional Moldovan crafts. The air is filled with the aroma of freshly baked bread and the chatter of locals bartering in a symphony of languages, mirroring the diverse cultural influences of this region. Then, picture a typical school day in Transnistria. Bright-eyed students, armed with a thirst for knowledge, engage in a curriculum that's an interesting blend of Moldovan, Russian and Ukrainian educational systems. This blend is a testament to the region's complex history and the resilience of its people. As the day progresses take a virtual tour of Transnistria's cultural institutions. The museums, art galleries and theaters here are not just buildings, but vessels carrying the region's rich history and vibrant culture. They showcase everything from Soviet-era relics to local art and performances, offering a fascinating glimpse into the region's past and its thriving artistic scene. Food, of course, is a significant part of any culture, and Transnistria is no exception. Imagine sitting down to a hearty meal of traditional Moldovan dishes like mamaliga and sarmale, or perhaps enjoying a steaming bowl of borscht, a testament to the region's Russian influences. And let's not forget the Ukrainian influence evident in the popular dumpling dish, vareniki. The day ends with a leisurely stroll along the Dniester River, where locals gather to chat, fish, or simply enjoy the sunset. The river, like the people of Transnistria, flows persistently, carving its way through the landscape, indifferent to the political complexities that surround it. In Transnistria, the daily life is a blend of Moldovan, Russian, and Ukrainian cultures. Like a tapestry woven with threads of different colors, each culture contributes to the unique pattern that defines the region. From the languages spoken in the bustling markets to the food savored at the dinner table, from the education system to the cultural institutions, every aspect of daily life pays tribute to this rich cultural blend. This blend of cultures and traditions creates a vibrant tapestry of life that defines Transnistria. Transnistria, though unrecognized, is not without its iconic sights and experiences. First, let us take an imaginary stroll down the streets of Tiraspol, the capital city of Transnistria. Nestled in the heart of the city is the Tiraspol National Drama Theater, a beacon of cultural heritage. This grand structure harks back to the Soviet era with its imposing architecture and majestic interiors. It's more than just a theater. It's a testament to the thriving art scene in Transnistria, where classic and contemporary performances come to life on stage. Venturing further, we come upon the towering Suvorov Monument. Erected in tribute to the 18th-century Russian general, Alexander Suvorov, this monument is a symbol of pride and perseverance. Suvorov, the founder of Tiraspol, embodies the resilience and spirit of Transnistria. As you gaze upon the monument, you can almost hear the echoes of a bygone era, a time of valor and victory. 
Continuing our journey we find ourselves at the Quint Distillery, a gem of Transnistrian industry. This isn't just any distillery, it's the oldest one in Moldova, dating back to the 19th century. Quint is renowned for its brandy, savored by locals and visitors alike. Its intoxicating aroma and rich flavor are a testament to the region's traditional distilling methods. Here each bottle is not just a beverage but a symbol of Transnistrian craftsmanship. But Transnistria is not just about historic monuments and cultural landmarks, it's also a place where the spirit of competition thrives. Imagine the thrill of attending a football match at the FC Sheriff Stadium, the home of Transnistria's most successful football team, the roar of the crowd, the cheers of the fans, and the rush of adrenaline as the ball hits the back of the net, it's an experience unique to this region. Each location tells a different story, adding another layer to the fascinating narrative of Transnistria. But what do the people of Transnistria think about their homeland? We step into the heart of Transnistria, where the real stories lie, in the lives of the locals. Here we meet Alexei, a baker in Tiraspol. A proud Transnistrian, he says, our life here is simple. We bake, we eat, we celebrate. Yes, we recognize we live in a place that the world doesn't, but that doesn't make our bread less tasty or our laughter less real. We are Transnistrians. We exist. Next, we speak with Maria, a teacher. She shares her perspective on Transnistria's unique identity. We are a blend of cultures, languages, and histories. We are a testament to resilience, a place that has stood the test of time. Our identity is complex, but it is ours. In a bustling market we catch up with Ivan, a fruit vendor. He voices his thoughts on the region's political status. We are in a gray zone, yes, but this is our home. Politics is one thing, life is another. We live, we work, we find joy in the everyday, that's what matters. We also have a chance to converse with Natalia, a university student in Tiraspol. She says, I dream of a day when Transnistria is recognized by the world, but until then, I will continue to study, learn, and contribute to my society. Transnistria may not exist on paper, but it exists in our hearts. And finally, we meet Mikhail, a war veteran. He reflects, I've seen the toughest days of Transnistria. I've also seen how we've grown, how we've built a life here. Our existence may be disputed, but our spirit, our pride, is indomitable. These voices, these stories, paint a picture of Transnistria that is rich, vibrant, and real. They reveal a people who are proud of their home, their culture, their identity, regardless of the world's recognition. These voices provide a deeper understanding of the complexities and nuances of Transnistrian identity. For those intrepid enough to visit, here are a few travel tips. Transnistria, while fascinating, is not your typical travel destination. Its unrecognized status can make the journey a touch more complicated but equally thrilling. When crossing checkpoints, patience is key. Having your passport and travel documents readily available will smooth out this process. Once you're in, the local currency, the Transnistrian ruble, is a must-have. It's unique to the region and not exchangeable outside, so plan your finances accordingly. As for communication, Russian is widely spoken, so brushing up on a few phrases could come in handy. Yet don't fret if you're not fluent. A friendly demeanor and respectful attitude can bridge any language gap. Remember, Transnistria is steeped in history, and its Soviet-era monuments and memorabilia are revered. A respectful curiosity towards these symbols will be appreciated by locals. With these tips in mind, the journey to Transnistria becomes an adventure waiting to unfold. Transnistria, a journey into the unknown, leaves an indelible mark on every traveler. It's a place where history, culture, and daily life converge in an intricate dance of identity and sovereignty. This unrecognized state, caught between past and present, challenges our conventional understanding of borders and national identity. Yet, it is not just about geopolitics. It's about the vibrant markets, the laughter in schools, the applause in theaters, and the cheers in football stadiums. It's about the unique blend of Moldovan, Russian, and Ukrainian cultures that shape the everyday life of Transnistrians. Visiting Transnistria is a journey of discovery and understanding. It's not the destination you find on glossy travel brochures or trending hashtags. It's a place that teaches you to look beyond the map to see the world through different lenses, and to appreciate the richness of human experiences. Transnistria, a country that doesn't officially exist on maps, surely exists in the hearts of its people and the memories of its visitors. We've journeyed through a land that defies convention, now it's your turn to explore. Dive into the comments and let the world know your thoughts on this fascinating, uncharted corner of the globe. Subscribe to join us as we continue to unearth more unique travel experiences, 
Share this video with those who also have a thirst for the lesser known, the unconventional, the extraordinary. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep discovering the world's hidden corners. This is your journey. Make it count.